Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Friends if you're using an older Mac and want to upgrade its operating system without relying on OpenCore Legacy Patcher, then this video is for you. In this video, you will learn how to update your Mac to the last macOS version it officially supports, using Apple's own recommended method. This way, your system stays stable, secure, and fully supported. For today's demo, I'll be upgrading from Mac OS X Lion to Mac OS Big Sur. But don't worry, if you're starting from Snow Leopard, Lion, Yosemite, or Sierra, you can follow the exact same steps. Before jumping to a newer version, it's best to make sure your existing Mac OS is fully updated. Go to the Apple menu and select Software Update. If any updates are available, install them first. Now, older Macs sometimes run into App Store issues, such as Apple ID unable to sign in, or difficulties downloading the latest macOS version. If you hit these problems, don't panic. The solution is to use a web browser instead of the App Store. Open Safari and head to Apple's official support page, linked in the description. But what if Safari is too outdated? In that case, you can download a third-party browser, such as Firefox ESR, or find a legacy web browser from a GitHub page. Check the video description for more details. Once you have the web browser installed, you'll be able to access the Apple Support Downloads page without any issues. You can't jump straight from Mac OS X Lion to Big Sur or Monterey, the gap is too wide, and you'll get an error. The safe method is to move up in two steps. First, upgrade to Mac OS El Capitan or Sierra. After that, you can install Big Sur or whichever version your Mac supports. Yes, you could technically make a bootable USB and clean install Big Sur or Monterey, but we're focusing only on the direct upgrade method here. For this demo, I'll be downloading the Mac OS El Capitan, but you can choose another version if you prefer. You can also download these installers on a Windows computer and then copy them to your old Mac. Once you've downloaded the installer, open the DMG, run the package, and the El Capitan installer will show up in your applications folder. Run it and follow the prompts to complete the upgrade. After your Mac boots into El Capitan, you'll be able to use your Apple ID and App Store. Safari will also be functional. If Safari still isn't perfect, just install Chrome for El Capitan and continue from there. Then, revisit the Apple support page to download the next macOS version you need. Every Mac model has a limit, it can only go up to a certain macOS version. For example, my MacBook Pro officially maxes out at Big Sur which means I can't upgrade to Monterey, Sequoia, or Tahoe. If you're unsure about your max limit, go to everymac.com. Click the Lookup tab. Enter your Mac serial number or identifier. Scroll down to your Mac model page. Scroll down. In the operating system section, you'll see both the original OS it shipped with and the latest one it can officially run. Once you know the maximum supported version of your Mac, return to Apple's support page to download the installer. 
Don't worry, the process is the same for all macOS versions. When the download finishes, the installer will launch automatically. If not, go to your application folder and launch the installer. Follow the on-screen steps. Let the process run, and after a short wait, your Mac will be upgraded to its final officially supported macOS. And that's it. This is the most reliable and safest way to breathe new life into an old Mac, without needing any patching tools. I hope this guide was helpful. If you run into any issues, feel free to ask in the comments, and I will do my best to reply as soon as possible. If you want to support me, please share this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.